You may or may not hear about the Celeron that Dolomiti super ski. There are so many questions asked when coming for a ski trip to the Dolomites. Where to start the Celeron? How long does it take to complete? Is it difficult? And so on. In this video, we want to answer as many of these questions as we can. So whether you are planning to do the Celeron or just want to spend a wonderful sunny day on the slopes with us, grab a cup of tea and enjoy. Famous Dolomites Mountains, paradise in each season, UNESCO World Heritage, iconic destination for people from all around the world, yet such a humongous area to be discovered. All right. Let's begin with a simple question, what the Celeronda actually is. So basically it's a loop around the Sela Massif here in the Dolomites, which is also known as one of the longest ski circuits in the world. And it can be done either clockwise or anti-clockwise. In order to do Celeronda tour, you need Dolomiti Super Ski Ski Pass, which uh, I think the best way is to get on online, on the website or through the application. And then you just print the ticket in these ticket boxes uh, using a QR code, which is quite straightforward. And I actually order it while driving here, so it saves you a lot of time because as you can see there's plenty of people rushing everywhere and I don't want to imagine how long would it take at the office. And we got our tickets and we are just about to board our first cable car. And today we take you with us to do the Orange Celeronda, starting over here in this beautiful mountain village called Selva di Val Gardena, which is a hub for ski lovers and mountain lovers. And as the cable cars just open, it's really busy around here, but I hope it will spread around the ski slopes once we get up to the mountains. The weather looks really beautiful today, so I'm super excited. So let's hit the slopes. But I think that we'll see also the sun as we go from the valley up. So we just got up from our first cable car and we are just a little bit of a mountain pass called Paso Gardena and we are going to ski down to our first of our four wellies which is called Alta Badia. the views up from here from Paso Gardena look at this also probably perfect weather for some heli sightseeing around with helicopters. it's a dream of yours right maybe yes. one day one day I will make the ride hopefully there <laughs> Cutest cable car in Bulgarzena. Oh, maybe in the whole Dolomite area. Celeronda tour can be easily done within one day and without need of putting uh, your skis down. It takes you through four valleys Val Gardena, Alta Padia, Val di Funes, and Araba. The total length of the trip is around 40 kilometers out of which 27 is covered by slopes and the rest of it are lifts you have to take you don't need to know the roads by heart neither study the map on each slope as the whole circuit is just perfectly marked in two colors orange and green and it's easy to follow the color-coded signs it generally is very well signed 
orange cell around that leads you in a clockwise direction and the green one in reverse. Whichever way you choose, the cell around the loop mainly consists of easy to intermediate skiing with some more demanding slopes, which make the cell around the unsuitable for very beginners, let's say. One of the good or bad thing is that while doing Sela Ronda you don't really know what kind of slope you expect but as you let's say travel more through the valleys there are more traversing and especially if you're a snowboarder it's not sometimes the best but it's manageable let's say but at the same time you don't know which view will surprise you more as the next one Oh my goodness, so we just arrived to Alta Badia Valley and it's one of the hubs where you can actually start Sela Ronda. You can so, feel this is one of the most popular ski areas. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Working on the chair lift number four today. And oh. heading to Araba. Woo! Oh yeah, first one which is open one and quite small, which was causing some delays on our solar on that tour. Yeah. by the queues which lift and which slopes are more popular than the others obviously the more difficult ones are a bit more empty which is good for us but I'm also happy that we can experience the cell around the loop through this little bit more busy day because we can tell if it's really possible to do in just one day I right? Mean, we have to do it because we parked our car in Val Gardena well, there are still those <laughs> Uh, public transport buses. No. <laughs> so we are on the top of Araba. Well, there is this Beg de Rocas Refugio or mountain head where you can have a lunch, where you can have something to get back your energy. But yeah, as we had a proper breakfast, we decided to have just coffee and of course Krapfen and some Radler because yeah, we'll have lunch later, like a late lunch probably. <laughs> because we want to show you our other favorite hat, where to eat on Sela Ronda or when skiing in the Dolomites. Yes, and actually it's quite early, it's 11.30 and as we discovered, it's just the time where you can get uh, food actually served because until this point only the bar was open. Yeah, and the restaurant is like a self-service and it opens in a few minutes, so we decided to just have something sweet and then head back to the slopes.
stop counting, right? But sure, we'll put it there. Oh, wow. You can really experience all the different types of uh, chairlifts, cable cars, all the different types of cabins. Hi, it's such an adventure, I would say. Probably the only downside of this cellar on the circuit, I would say, is the thing that you don't know what to expect. Kinda, you don't know what's next, like which slope is coming and things. So, I mean, that can be good and bad, I would say. That's the thing. I it's full of surprises, say. but yeah. at the same time, you cannot get used to the same slope. Yeah, but it's definitely an exciting adventure. <laughs> Absolutely, especially with this weather, I so enjoy oh, yeah. this open chairlift. And actually, we got lucky this time we're alone here. It's, Woo! I think, eight seater. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nearly on the top of the Dolomites. Woohoo! Wow. As we gain altitude, I would say there's pretty much snow everywhere. Oh, yeah. And the views we are starting to get yes. are just. Incredible. Wow. on the cellar on the loop if you can do just one I really recommend going to Salzburg Doi because I mean that's probably the highest point where you can get on the cellar on the and yeah just wait for the views so yeah I highly recommend it because less down or see that there is no slope from the top so basically you just take a ride up and then also ride down. So this is why I told you if you only like one detour on this stop, be sure to come up here because from over here you can see the whole Sela Massif, which the Sela around the loop is traversing or going around and it's freaking awesome. Also the road here is really amazing. You go steep climb, you go from 2200 meters to about 2950. And suddenly you just see the rocks and out of nowhere the whole panorama open and it's... Yeah, and it actually, <laughs> and it's actually quite flat around here. It's just breathtaking. From this place you can also see the highest peak of Sasa Group, which is called Pisboe. And you can clearly see the highest peak, which is around 3000 meters high, and it's really spectacular. And also the second thing you can see here is Marmolada Glacier. At the altitude of 3,343 meters, the Marmolada is the highest peak in the Dolomites and it offers the views which are out of this world. This place is accessible all year round and you even find here a 12 kilometers long uninterrupted run ski slope. From the top of the cable car station at Punta Roca all the way to Malgaciapela, you descend around 1,800 meters in altitude, witnessing breathtaking views of the glacier and remarkable sceneries on the way down. If you have a chance to visit Marmolada on your trip to North Italy, we made a whole episode dedicated just for this experience and we're linking it just here. So if you have time, watch it before you go there. Woohoo! All right. 
just in time to pass the cellar. It's getting a bit cloudy and we already saw a few snowflakes out of nowhere. This is how the weather can change in the mountains, but the visibility is still beautiful and we can see the majestic Sasolunga behind me. And it reminds me our summer hike, which we did over here. There is this amazing unique cable car, the coffin cable car, so called, which is dismounted for the winter season. But yeah, you can hike up there to Tony Demet's Hütte or take the cable car, whichever option you want, and then come back by the cable car. And it's very special because you are standing there and it's only for two people. I'm sure we'll link the vlog from over there, somewhere over here, so you can watch it. If you are planning a trip to the Dolomites in the summer season, definitely check it out because it's so special. And up there you can have just delicious apple strudel but yeah speaking about food we are really hungry after the whole day of skiing and it's really time to get something to eat and show you our another favorite mountain hat where you can have something to eat when you are doing solar on or when you are just around this area and it's so special so yeah let's go The Hogus mountain hut stands in the heart of Sassalunga Massif in between Val Gardena and Val di Fassa. And as a highlight of this place is probably the fact that on the surrounding land the owners practice organic farming. Among the cattle probably the most interesting breed is the Highland cattle and domestic yak. Highland cattle, originally from the cold Scottish uplands, adapt easily to cold winters of the Dolomites as they can survive at high altitudes even at very cold temperatures. The breed's heavy coat allows it to maintain its body's temperature without having to resort a thick layer of fat. And this is why its meat is so lean, low in cholesterol and of excellent quality. The other safeguards of this high altitude pasture is a breed of Tibetan cattle, the Yak. They roam over here together freely all year round and are fed exclusively with grass and dried forage produce according to the criteria set for organic farming so yeah get ready and be prepared for a lot of cuteness if you decided to come to the Friedrich August mountain hat The weather is really crazy today. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but the small snowflakes are falling down right now and we still have the sun, but at the same time it's snowing. It's incredibly beautiful and the atmosphere and all the views from over here are just beautiful. So we got a hot tea from South Tyrol and Herb and we are about to have something local and very typical over here in South Tyrol, which is the goulash with knudel. Please. Thank you so much. So, as you can see, it's a little bit stormy, but our meals are looking delicious. Both we got uh, some sort of goulash, Natala is having a soup, and I have it uh, also with canoodles with big, large dumplings. Fill up with cheese, and it looks so delicious. Look at this it's serving. We are at 2,300 meters. And the meat is almost like melting in my mouth. Yeah, mine too. It's, it's really, really soft. Bene, tutto bene. Incredible that we got the sun back, right? It's changing every five minutes, but it was well needed because my fingers were already freezing a little bit. But it's all good now. Absolutely. Like we will have sun for some while. 
completing the Sela Ronda loop in the heart of Dolomites is definitely worth every effort. Oh yeah, and I think it's safe to say that it's completely doable in just one day. I mean, if we did it with all the stops, detours and filming on, along the way, which takes more time than it may look, <laughs> and we did the orange Sela Ronda and the green one is even doable a little bit more quicker. Yeah, for sure. And hopefully we inspired you to do the Sela Ronda loop on your own if you didn't yet and if you did we brought you some nice memories out of it <laughs> <laughs> if this video brought you some value and inspiration please consider subscribing to our channel and see you in the next one bye guys